Hello, welcome back to my channel. So, a lot of you are here subscribed to my channel now because of one video that I posted back in like December, I think it was December 22nd. Um, it was just an unscripted random rant about a TikToker that had been doing some stuff that I thought was icky. So, I came on here and I complained about it because y'all should know by now that that's just what I like to do. <laughs> Uh, and for a while, that was just the end of it, until January, I think it was, when the video blew up out of nowhere for no reason at all, and became my most viewed video and got me a little bit over 13,000 subs. So, that's neat. Thank you guys for that. <laughs> Let's dive into today's video, yeah? I think I'm gonna do this, like, chronologically, so I'm gonna start with the fun fact that Rosalie actually saw my video about her and commented on it, saying, Oh hey, congrats on your new subscribers for hating on me. Balloon emoji, the weird like squinty eyed emoji with the tongue out to where it's kind of like the, like the, like the eyes are like little V's. It's like, eh, that one, you know. Um, and then the black heart emoji. I haven't spoken a word on the app and this is how much drama gets started. Voice reveal coming soon though. Kiss emoji, kiss emoji, he he. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna break that comment down real quick because easy to break down and then we'll get into the main course of the video the main meal the meat and potatoes so the first thing she says congrats on your new subscribers for hating on me and i know that this was supposed to be like a petty little jab at me for gaining subs from the video and i'm not going to deny that i got subs from it because i obviously did uh but to say that it was just from me hating on her i think is a really good example of her deflection her victim complex and honestly just her delusion. Um, I'm going to give more examples of that further into the video, but basically Rosalie can literally never admit when she's done something wrong and she thinks that anyone that disagrees with her is just a hater. Um, fun fact, giving criticism of someone's actions isn't hate, it is criticism. A lot of content creators have a hard time differentiating between hate and criticism when they've done something wrong because it's easy to write off people trying to hold you accountable as people hating on you. But Rosalie, you have lost a little bit over 50,000 followers on TikTok. You've had hundreds of TikToks made about you explaining why your actions are wrong. My video alone has 42,000 likes. Your TikToks get more bad comments than they get good comments. Do you really think that these thousands of people hate you for absolutely no reason and that you've done nothing wrong. Do you really think that? I don't think that you do, but I think you've denied responsibility and refused to apologize and you've blocked too many people at this point that you've kind of backed yourself into a corner and so you keep doubling down thinking that it's gonna get better and eventually it'll go away, but you're just making things worse for yourself. Anyway, uh, next bit of her comment says, I've never spoken a word on this app and this is how much drama gets started. I don't really know what to say about this. It's just another example of her thinking that criticisms are the same as hate and drama. Even though, as I've said, my video wasn't about drama, it was just me complaining and giving criticisms. Criticism seems to be our word of the day. The last bit of her comment says, voice reveal soon, uh, which leads us into the main bit of the video. So I responded to her comment, I responded this, And after like the hype around that video started to slow down a little bit, I honestly forgot about Rosalie. She never shows up on my For You page. And I just kind of forgot she existed. Um, until yesterday when I got a comment on one of my videos saying, yo, Grayson, Rosalie Ospina made a music video. You should do a review of it, WTF, she's way out of line. Uh, I read this comment and out loud I said, oh boy. <laughs> I went over to her TikTok where she posted this video. Where she basically says, actually not basically, she says, and I quote, I didn't do anything wrong. I sign fast and dance while I do it. And I'm good at it. Yes, I blocked rude and toxic people who were not trying to help me, and I'll do it again. So uh, once I read that, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna make a video about this because, oh my God, are you kidding me? 
Um, I don't think I need to break that down, but I'm going to anyway. So starting off with, I didn't do anything wrong. I've already gone over this if you truly think that you're delusional. Next, she says, I sign fast and dance while I do it. I don't think anyone has ever said that the issue with you is the fact that you sign fast. The issue is that you sign incorrectly after being told by countless deaf and hard of hearing creators that you're doing it incorrectly. And before I get comments saying, how do you know she's signing incorrectly since there's more than one version of sign language, let me answer that. Yes, there are multiple forms of sign language, but Rosalie speaks English and she signs English. There are still a lot of forms of English sign language, two of which being ASL, American Sign Language, and PSE, Pigeon Signed English. Originally, Rosalie used to claim that she was using ASL, but when people started to see that a lot of what she was saying either wasn't correct or just straight up wasn't even a word in ASL, she then started to say that she was using PSE. But then, people that know PSE realized that she wasn't signing PSE either. And fun fact about PSE, um, another term for it is CASE, C-A-S-E. That stands for Conceptually Accurate Signed English. It's a form of sign language that's kind of used as like a building block um, that's developed between people who use ASL and people who use manually coded English, M-C-E. So it's um, using phrases and words and signs based on both languages. So she's using a language, or she's claiming to use a language that's a mix of two other sign languages, even though she's already been called out for the fact that she wasn't using one of those two languages correctly. I'm gonna leave that there. Point is, it's not the fact that she's using the wrong version of sign language. It's that she's making things up for attention. The next bit of her claim is <laughs> where she says, I'm good at it in reference to her sign language. And I have to laugh because that has to be a joke. And let me explain why. One of her most popular TikToks is one of her signing uh, to the song Deep End by, I think it's pronounced Fushi. Um, the lyrics in that video, in that TikTok that she's signing to are, I'm gonna sound like such a fucking old person while I like speak these, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. So <laughs> please don't laugh at me. I'm already laughing at myself. Uh, shoddy gun, get that paper. Shoddy tongue rip like razor. Shoddy got whip and flavor. Pardon my tits and makeup. Did I sound like a 45 year old? Yes, we're ignoring it and we're moving on. So that's what she's claiming that she's signing in the video. She's claiming to sign those lyrics to the song. But what she's actually signing in that TikTok as interpreted by actual sign language users, what she's actually signing is, girl makes paper, girl razor make, flavor, my zits, gun, was that a sign for gun, up. So you're gonna say you're good at signing? <laughs> okay, sure, yeah, you're good at it. Anyway, the next bit of her comment says, yes, I blocked rude and toxic people who were not trying to help me and I'll do it again. And you know what? Sure, I can understand blocking toxic people who really were there just to hate on you and weren't there to help you. But you make that claim as if those are the only people you've blocked. As if there isn't literal deaf and hard of hearing creators who have proof that you have blocked them after they commented on your TikToks trying to help you. I don't know why you would so boldly make the claim that you only block toxic people when we all know that that's not true. So yeah, that was the entire response from her, if that's even what we're calling it. Um, that was a train wreck, but hey, at least in that video, there was a flash warning on it. That's, that's something. Uh, moving on. So yeah, remember when I said that she was teasing a voice reveal? She finally did that by um, making a song and music video. Okay. The song is called Watch Your Mouth, and uh, the response to it was as expected, really. I'm not gonna do like a breakdown or a review of the song because obviously it's not good. I can't be tame, mm -mm. no, drive me hella crazy. All y'all trying to phase me, saying that you hate me, but really wanna date me. 
it. An influencer song isn't good? Wow, that's very shocking. But I do think that the song really ties together my opinion on Rosalie, which is that she's trying to go for this like Jake Paul-esque fame. She not only understands that people don't like her, but she writes off criticism as hate and profits off of her own shitty actions. The only difference uh, is that for Jake Paul it worked, and if you go to Rosalie's social blade, it's clear that it is not working for her. I think that there is like an internet epidemic right now of people that think negative attention is better than no attention, and the shitty thing is, is that it works. It's working right now by me making this video. But honestly, I'm done talking about Rosalie and giving her the attention that she's clearly desperate for. Um, and I hope other people follow suit and stop commenting on her posts and stop interacting with her content because negative attention only gets you so far for so long before people get tired of seeing you do the same thing and they eventually move on to other stuff. So uh, yeah, that brings me to the end of this video. If you're here for my first video on Rosalie, thank you so much, because I've grown a lot since that video was posted, both like in subscriber count and the quality of my videos. That original video was honestly like really messy, and I think that the points I was trying to make, some of them were just lost. Um, it was unscripted because at the time I had like a little bit less than a thousand subscribers, and I just didn't think I needed to script it. And I obviously wasn't expecting it to get over 400,000 views. Um, and I appreciate the critiques that I got on that video and then even some of the hate I got from it because I've learned a lot about just like video etiquette in general. But I think that my content has improved. So thank you all. I love you all. Um, like and subscribe and comment on this video. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.